Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. and I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of Dungeons and Dragons and douchebaggery. Oh, that's a new one. That's a new one. That's a new dose. That's not a daily dose because we don't do that daily. Uh, it's getting to be almost daily. It's, it's happening a lot. There's a lot of weirdness going on in the tabletop industry. We've been talking about it a lot uh, lately. You know, just some of the stories we've we've covered uh, include, you know, the situation with new TSR, new, new TSR, which we're going to talk about more. Um, and Gen Con, Gen Con, you know, banning people over freaking frog photos yeah. on games and just uh, some r some real uh, strangeness around the tabletop industry and Wizards of the Coast and some of their decisions. Uh, so things have taken another strange turn with new TSR. Now, going to back this up a little bit for those of you who do not know. For people like me who don't really do tabletop, you can explain. All right, so TSR, TSR was the uh, the original company that created Dungeons and Dragons, right. right? Okay, so most people that had, you know, played Dungeons and Dragons before Wizards of the Coast, they would have boxes and books with TSR on there, Gary Gygax and company. So Wizards of the Coast bought TSR in the late 90s and eventually they took the branding off and it, you know, Dungeons and Dragons became a Wizards of the Coast thing. Right. Fast forward a few years later and the trademark was up for grabs. Uh, so another individual bought the trademark and started his own TSR and published Top Secret through that. Okay. Okay, but that individual let the trademark lapse and then- Yeah, well you shouldn't do that. They give you plenty of notice. They give you years. They give you years of notice, and it's not that expensive to renew a trademark. We know it's not that expensive to renew trademarks. You, most of the cost is actually the filing, but that's neither here nor there. He let it lapse. Another individual snapped up the trademark, and that individual is now working with Ernie Gygax, who is the son of Gary mm -hmm. Gygax, and is trying to get the band back together, as I understand it, some of the original TSR mm -hmm. crew. Lots of drama when it was announced that they were kind of coming back. Um, people were dogpiling them out of the gate. Uh, people taking some things that Ernie Gygax said out of context and trying to say that they were. Yeah, it was weird. I remember that. Uh, you know, it, it seemed uh, armchair observation. It seemed like people were lying in wait for them because they don't even have a product out yet. Right. And it was weird. I remember it was weird. And then there was some weirdness with the the Twitter uh, yes. But it turned out that it wasn't them. It was somebody else who was had the... Uh, yeah, this was, uh, I think, people associated with former uh, partners. Mm -hmm. uh, of them, they had a, a game called uh, Giant Lands, which was Wonderfilled, which was another company they were going to release through TSR. They parted ways. But apparently, whoever was running the social media had something to do with them, I think. And I don't the, know. And the damage, damage was done. The damage was done. But even if you didn't say anything, if you said the sky wasn't exactly blue, it's like, you know, light blue. They're like, how dare you? You know, people, normal behavior on Twitter. Yeah, people were definitely, you know, regardless of what you think about the situation, people have different opinions on the it's situation. It's like the Dave Chappelle of, of tabletop. It is. It is. People were literally waiting for this new TSR because it was kind of low key how they announced it. It mm -hmm. wasn't like a big deal, but as soon the, as it- the, the, the response was very- um, Disproportionate. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Cause my brain lost the word and you had the exact one. Yeah. Disproportionate. And, and it does feel like there was something going on behind the scenes because you know, these things don't pop up overnight, especially no. with trademarks. It takes months. Meanwhile, while this is going on, we have all these different campaigns coming out, you know, for different you know, gaming companies, you know, pushing for certain agendas, pushing yes. for certain changes. Um, I love what, what gets me is the people that are yelling the most about gatekeeping are the ones gatekeeping, the ones that are going about, oh, we need diversity and inclusion as long as you're like them and not, you know, somebody else. They're, they're the biggest hypocritical bullies I've seen, you know, well, that, if it's on Twitter, they're all hypocritical bullies, but they seem to be pretty much, you know, here especially, like, Table, the hypocritical bully. Tabletop is the worst scene. I mean, we've been doing this for well, four years. Well, worse than animation. I, I'm beginning to think it, it could definitely give it a run for its money. Let's okay, put it that way. We'll put them, okay, um, right now they're on. They're, they're, they're vying for first place. There, There's a lot more business sabotage going on in tabletop because, you know, I've seen all these ridiculous bannings. Um, things that, you know, violence has carried over into the real world. Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, Jer uh, Jeremy Hambly from The Quartering, 
got punched at Gen Con. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember Because that. a vendor didn't like a video he made or some well, shit. if I'm not wrong, didn't the vendor, he, now, the Handley's banned from uh, Gen He's Con. Banned, but yeah. the, but the But the guy who hit him isn't? I believe so. Okay, I'm not sure about that. Something like that. They're I don't really, really follow stupid. the quartering. I mean, for some reason, people on Twitter think that we all hang out together and we all talk and we all follow each other and everything else. I don't watch his videos. I don't really even know him. So I've, I'm never, just like, I've never talked to him. We've been doing this for four years. I've never talked to the guy. No, I, but people I just assume because, you know, just we, we all hang out and plan stuff, you know, even though we don't even. Yeah, we talk about similar things. Uh, we've got different opinions on some topics. A lot but, of things we have different opinions on. But uh, I, I don't know him. I've never talked to him. I mean, I'm not trying to like disavow. I'm just saying like everybody thinks like we all hang out together. All these YouTubers all hang out together. And that's not true. No. Uh, it really isn't true. Anyway, um, I will agree with him on this, that tabletop is batshit crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, Gen Con is a convention that I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I would never go to anyway, just based on what I've seen. Uh, they will ban anybody for anything. And uh, ridiculous, ridiculous bullshit. The publisher of this this one game who actually has a, a chain of uh, gaming stores got, got kicked out of Gen Con over a freaking frog photo and the drama that ensued. It was so stupid. Well, you can do anything anymore. And because Twitter decides that, oh, it's problematic for some really nebulous or stupid reason, you know, they'll they'll harass you or ban you, you know, try to do whatever they can to get you removed from things. Yeah. And, you know, it could be something as simple as like, oh, you made that character skin like a shade lighter than I thought it should be. <gasps> you know. Your, your Photoshop filter didn't work right that day. Yeah. yeah. So... Stupid, stupid shit. We're going to talk about that because Twitter plays a big part in this. Twitter is like ground zero for all the cancel culture, culture stuff, especially when it comes to tabletop. There's been a development with new, new TSR. Uh, now there's another drama and it does seem like some potential business rivals or just mentally, legitimately mentally ill people are going around and trying to target affiliates of new TSR with threats from anonymous accounts. Oh and yeah. You know what? This reminds me of that group of comic creators who had that anonymous network where they were all talking about trying to do things to get people triggered. So they'd oh, hit the them. whisper network. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, beyond that. Like, and it's like, well, they're the heroes. Heroes don't work in the dark. Heroes don't like have secret groups and they try to plot things to get reactions so they can say that we're, they're the heroes and they're the, you know, that sounds like, um, what's his nuts from, uh, the Incredibles. Um, but oh, Syndrome, yeah, yeah, syndrome. You know, yeah. that's that's what. Yeah, that, not, those. That's how they act. You're not. You're not the heroes. You're the villains. There's a lot of villainy going on. And it's so dramatic too. We're we're gonna talk more about this before we get into it any further. And we've gotten into it pretty far. I'll say too late. Too late. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over two hundred thirty-eight thousand subs. Woo! Thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciated. We do talk about tabletop gaming more so than we have. Yeah, I'm not really a tabletop person, but I'm a I'm, I'm anti bullshit. Yeah, and anti bullying. And I I actually grew up playing Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, huge huge fan. Remember all the books? When we got married. We yes. sold a bunch of the. Which I wish the God. Well, we in weren't some exactly when we got married. It was like before we we decided we were gonna get a house and stuff and yeah. have kids. Then we did. Because, yeah. you know, kids cost money. They do. But I had a ton of TSR D&D stuff. I had pretty much everything. Yeah, that you want me to know about it because you want me to know what kind of a nerd you were. Yeah, I was like, but oh I was like, have you met me? I sold Star Wars toys in college. I'm You're like, like, what's with these little metal men? You painted these. I'm like, yes, I painted them on Friday nights. Okay, but no, I actually, I, I did. I was like a closet nerd in high school. Like, I, I, I was into all this stuff, and I was like, painting closet my, nerd, painting my miniatures and all oh. that shit. Then but, you had your uh, muscle car, so people wouldn't know car. you were overcompensating. Yeah, but you had a muffler, right? I did. I, did. I, I drove. Always, I drove under the speed limit too. Because I always hate when you hear these these big trucks and cars go by and they're just like, woo, 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 woo. and it's like, you know what? I am, I know you have a tiny pee pee. I'm sorry. I am secure in my manhood. I do not need to make a lot of noise. Uh, the people that get on Twitter and make a lot of noise are not secure in their man or. But I don't want. Yeah, I say I'm not gonna say it's manhood or womanhood. All right. Manhood. So anyway, Wizard Tower Games. We gotta we gotta back this up here. So this is this seems to be what the catalyst was, okay? The catalyst for this is that TSR, new, new TSR, the TSR with uh, Ernie Gygax. Okay, it's very and, confusing. And yeah, the, the the current TSR, the TSR with the son of Gary Gygax and some other people, uh, as I understand it, potentially getting involved um, with them from the old school, right? They're going to have a TSR con. I guess if you're going to get 
kicked out of all the other cons just for existing. You might as well have your own. You might as well have your own. Okay, well, makes sense, makes the, sense. The problem is, is that the TSR con is the same weekend as the Gary con, which- Which is Gary con. Gary con is uh, also uh, run by a guy gags. Another what? guy gags. So we've got, it, it feels like there could be a family issue going on here. So it's like the Hatfields and McCoys, but they're all related. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. I'm very confused, but okay. Anyway, uh, TSR Con, yeah, same weekend, same weekend as Gary Con, and um, you know they had their I thought sponsors. Maybe, I thought maybe it was a con for guys named Gary. You that know, would be kind of that would be kind of funny. I just thought maybe we're all Garys, and we go that. This sounds like a like a Disney Channel sitcom thing. This is this is Joe Con. Everybody, yeah. everybody here is named Joe. Anyway. Uh, so they moved it. I guess it was supposed to be 4th of July weekend, and they moved it to the same weekend as Gary Con, the TSR Con. Oh, uh, so well, they shouldn't have done that. I, I would say if it were me, <laughs> given given all the drama going on right now, uh, given all the, the, the backlash, I probably would not have done that. Now, the thought process might have been, hey... You know, people that are in town for Gary Con are want to gonna want to come to TSR Con because we're having it at the Dungeon Hobby uh, Shop Museum. But uh, personally, I would not have done that. No. But these are not my decisions, right? Mm. Okay. So regardless of what you think about that situation, people, some people were pretty pissed about that for various reasons. You know, they put their sponsors on the flyer. Okay. Well, apparently their sponsors are being attacked now by anonymous trolls. Okay. Yeah, anonymous emails. Oh, shocker there. And threatened. One of their sponsors is uh, Wizard Tower Games. Another one was Smuggler's Coffee, which backed out. And I've got a tweet up about that, too. Uh, people were putting pressure on so them. So basically somebody's going around and, and like, threatening the, the, the sponsors. advertisers. Okay. Yeah, this is... One of the five tricks that these activist types, Twitter activists, they're not even real activists, they're Twitter activists, one of the five tricks that they use, and usually what it is, is they go after people's money, they go after sponsors, they go after advertisers, uh, in some cases they go after banks. I know there was that one convention in Canada that wanted to have Vic Mignogna. Well, these people, 99.9% .9 of the time, hide in the shadows behind anonymous avatars, yeah, uh, but then I wouldn't agree with emails. that because I'd be like, if you're going to do it, you can at least, at least tell them you're, that you're the one doing it. Yeah. Like, hiding behind anonymous, I would think, is actually cowardly and bullshit. So I would say not to do that. But, you know, people could start doing it when you put their names on it. So this is Wizard Tower Games. They were going to be coming to uh, TSRCon. This is an anonymous email that they got. And they put a statement out. Okay. Uh, anonymous mail. You do not know us. This email is being sent via an encrypted and trackless mail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They start out with, you don't know us, but we're encrypted this, and, we, and you can't track us. You can't figure out who we are. Totally, totally going to listen to this person right from the beginning when they start out by saying that it's encrypted and you can't track them. Probably something from his mom, him or his or her mom's basement. We're trying to do you a favor by threatening you. Wait, wait, you start out, yeah, you start out threatening them, telling them they can't track it, but we're doing you a favor. We're okay. gonna, we're gonna kidnap you. We're gonna gag you. Wow. We're gonna, we're gonna put a knife up to your throat. We're gonna tell you it's for your own good. Mm -hmm. um, you may think about, you may think about staying away from TSR. They will bring new and upcoming game companies like you down. We see you are on their flyer for their event in March. That the English is horrible. Uh, for their event in March, which has been moved. Uh, to that day only to suck money off of Gary Khan. Okay, so wait, 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 Okay, so clearly this is somebody from the competition. We're, okay, I don't think they should have put the con the same day as Gary Khan. I don't think that was the right thing to do. But I, you don't threaten. But this is far worse. So basically because if you were so sure and, and confident in that your ability that you were first and that you had the fans and the fans are agreeing with you when you make all these changes, why the hell do you need somebody to go around threatening people? Now, it might be not them. It might be somebody, you know, on their own doing it. It could be. But if the situation was reversed, they would tell the other people, well, you better hold your people accountable. How dare you let them do this? Um, and it's possible somebody on their own accord. But to start out with, we're trying to do you a favor. I mean, like, what kind of favor? favor are you trying to do? Yeah. It's like, you know, it would be real shame if, you know, suddenly everybody, did, you know, we, 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 did, we outed you for all this other stuff unless you give us what we want. This is like, this is like blackmail terrorism. It absolutely is. We suggest you do not go. 
Well, I suggest you don't write people dumbass emails like this one because you're doing more harm to Gary Khan than they ever could. Yeah, because now people are going to look at this and be like, is Gary Khan behind it? Yeah. I, I, that, that's my first thought. Now, do I think they were actually behind it? Probably not. There are a lot of crazy people out there that have been watching this situation. Yeah, you can't control the crazy. You know, I'm sorry. But the flip side is if people from Gary Khan don't come out and immediately denounce this people shit. People are going to think it's them. I, I'm just saying. Um, anyway, they put this in all bold. Just so you know, they're super serious. You do not want us to get on Twitter and begin talking about Wizard's Tower. Be smart. This is basically, we're doing you a favor by threatening you. It's probably some 14-year-old blue-haired girl. You don't want to get us on yeah. Twitter and talk about Wizard's Tower. What are you going to say? Oh, fuck off. Right. I mean. <laughs> uh, Lanasa, the CEO, has a very checkered past. See the links below. They claim to have the support of many old-name players from back in the old days, like blank, blank, and blank, and do not. They went on a video vlog, the evil DM who himself is a PR, TSR paid thing. What? I don't understand what they're T talking about. TSR pays him huge money to make these interviews. Wait a second. Wait a second. TSR has not put out a single product yet. But wait. Do they you know who else money? pays you money to represent their company, to go out and do interviews and cover their company? <clears throat> Watsy. Huh? W-O-T-C. Oh. Oh. W-O-T-C. I, like, I thought you were calling some weird Yahtzee name. No, it rhymes with it, though, yeah. doesn't it? Okay, you know, yeah. Guess who goes out and, and has projects out there and probably does pay for marketing expenses and for interviews and for, and, and you know, getting deals with other companies and licensing agreements and things like that. Same thing, different day. I mean, I don't know how this person's checkered past was. I don't know. But quite frankly, when it's coming from an email like this, I don't, you know, I'm like not really going to take it seriously because I'm like, I'm questioning how shitty this is. Uh, he does not know it blank, 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 and do not want the results we will deliver to those who side with TSR. Coming from, again, anonymous mail. Your decision. But if you choose to side with, work with, or go to their event, you will be considered the enemy of those out there oh my, who stand yes, for tra there it is, trans right there. rights. Here we go. Let's Here it is, right there. Trans rights, inclusiveness, and gaming. I am so tired of these dumbass people going around going about inclusivity and against anti-bullying and everything else when they are the biggest gatekeepers, biggest bullies, biggest trolls out there. Somebody doesn't do a fan art they like. They try to get them canceled because how dare you whitewash like Mermista from she ra when you did the original one, which isn't even the new one. I'm so fucking tired of this shit. Stop it. You are a bully troll. You will sadly understand what it can be like to be the current thing on Twitter and social media in general. So they're basically telling you that they weaponize Twitter to try to cancel people who don't get, they yeah. don't get their way. They literally are having a tamper tantrum in an email and threatening them that they're going to ruin them on Twitter if you don't give in to their demands. Sounds like a terrorist. It does sound like a terror. That's what the, these people are. Okay, so this this leads into a bigger conversation because I think it's kind of funny. You know, I I did ret I saw it last night. I retweeted it. And I said we get we get shit like this pretty often. I'm gonna be honest. We actually do. We don't talk a lot about it because we don't want to give these people you know the satisfaction uh, of it or get, you know drawing attention to it. But we do get bullshit like this. Uh, often, some of it, you know, we sit on. Some of it uh, has actually gone to the police. Yes. Uh, believe it, you know, we I, they have a file on us at the police. Um, you know, this and shit from message boards, just in case people decide they want to get stupid. These people are fucking cowards. Mm -hmm. They're gutless. They are cowards. And then basically, this whole thing is: I'm going to send this. I'm going to brag about how I'm sending this to you from an anonymous place. From an anonymous place. And I'm email. just here to help you out. But you better do what we say. You better pull your sponsorship and, and probably what go to the, go to sponsor their event. Um, because if you don't, we're going to go to Twitter and we're going to try to make everybody hate you on Twitter to get. I'm like, I'm sorry. All I can say is, if you're trying to convince people that you are on the side of good and righteousness and the other place is terrible and bad. You don't say, you, you say, okay, here's some things that they did I don't have a problem with you might not be aware of. You don't say, but if you don't do what we want, we're gonna take you to Twitter and we're gonna destroy your business and all this other shit. I mean, that's not how this works. And Gary Khan, if I were you, I would denounce this shit right away. If not, it's gonna look like you did it. So here's, here's the problem though. Well, you know, one, the Streisand effect is very real. So what's going to happen is maybe people weren't paying that much attention to TSR con. Maybe people didn't even know that TSR was going to have a con, but now they're going to. Well, I'm hundred percent for inclusivity and, and you know, trans rights and rights in gaming. I'm hundred percent for that for real, not for the bullshit that you're masquerading and using as a, a bullying ram to try to take everybody else what they can do. The other, the other, Unintentional side effect of this is when you have people getting stupid in the name of a social cause, it damages 
the entire It movement. does. So when somebody has legitimate concerns about, you know, maybe trans representation or LGBTQ representation. Or inclusiveness. Or inclusivity in, in gaming, they're going to look at you and be like, oh, you're like one of those crazies that sends out the death threats and shit. So you're people. harming the cause you claim that you're, you're for. Yeah, nobody's going to take you seriously. With underhanded shit like this. Yeah. The other option is that somebody else pretending to be one of these Twitter loons that just wants to that's see true shit blow up. We've seen I that mean, too, that's honestly. Possible. That's possible. We've seen it, but I don't think that is the case here. I think, And I'm not saying it's somebody from GaryCon. Um, but it's weird. They have so much in, you know, uh, uh, information yeah. and names and stuff. If they're not, how would they know all this? And why are they only target? And why are they going around targeting the advertisers or the sponsors, sponsors for this event? Now, this company put it public, right? This is yeah. where you got this from. Yeah, they put they put it out there on Twitter and they put a press release out too. So they're not going to back down. Uh, Wizard Tower Games press release on October twenty fourth. Wizard Tower Games received an email from an unknown individual who stated that they would utilize social media to ruin and or harm our company if we continued our business relationship with TSR Hobbies located in Lake Geneva. We here at Wizard Tower Games wish to make it clearly known that cyberbullying on any level will not be tolerated. Good. Uh, we do not let unknown entities who hide behind screen names and fake email accounts bully, threaten, or intimidate us. The email sent has been turned over to various Good. law enforcement agencies, including the FBI. We are releasing a redacted copy of that email along with this press release. I don't think people realize... This is illegal what you're doing. If you get the feds involved... It doesn't matter if you're using Proton Mail or not. They, they it doesn't matter if you try money. to say that you're an underage or a divergent person either. They'll find out who you are eventually. Uh, we're proud to work with TSR Hobbies. We intend to continue to develop our relationship and plans with those at TSR Hobbies. We look forward to very soon releasing exciting news about TSR Hobbies and Wizard Tower Games. We feel uh, that we'll cement both our companies into a long and very proud relationship. Well, you know, here's what gets me. How many companies out there sponsor multiple events? And sometimes they're competitors, but they yeah. sponsor both. Or they sponsor, like, you know, big companies will sponsor different things. And they might sponsor, they might be different times, but they'll sponsor both events. Or they'll sponsor, you know, things that seem, you know, opposition to each other. Because you're trying to get a lot of, you know, eyeballs to your product. Why is it when it comes to this kind of stuff, people, you're only allowed to take one side ever? Because tabletop, at least from what I've seen in the last year or two, has become so gatekept by a certain group of people. A certain audience has been courted. Um, basically, Tumblr. Tumblr has taken over tabletop. Well, if Gen Con would ba ban them over this or something like that, they if, if they do, it just makes them right. If you ban, and so if Gen Con turns around, these guys turn around and, and they ban Wizard Tower Games or something over this kind of yeah. shit, all you're doing is proving them right and proving, and then telling everybody that maybe you are behind this. So if I were you, I wouldn't be going and banning people all the time. Uh, and I would definitely have Gary Con come out and say, hey, uh, this is not okay. I mean, if someone did something in my name that I thought wasn't okay, I sure as hell would be immediately being like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I mean, you can't control. That's the thing. You can't control what. No, but do. you can control how you respond to it. Yeah. Just be like that. Hey, that, that wasn't us. You know, when we denounce and they it. They need and, to. If they yeah. haven't, they need to immediately. Um, so it's not just uh, Wizard Tower Games. Um, this is uh, Smuggler's Coffee, which was uh, apparently they were a sponsor as well. And they're basically they're they're backing out. We're going to be at GaryCon. We're not we're not doing this. Oh, that's interesting. Why did they get the same email? Probably, because this happened about the same time, that same day, 23rd. Yeah, 23rd, 24th. And then, so. Oh, well, well, yeah, so this person's going, because we noticed you're a sponsor. So there's no way in hell they just wrote to the one sponsor. Yeah, so... And then these companies are such are so chicken shit, they'll, they'll, they'll you know, bow to these people and because they're afraid they're going to get you know, some kind of damage. This is really curious. The person being replied to is Jason Elliott. He was the guy who had the TSR trademark who let it lapse. Oh, really? I wouldn't have known that. But really? So wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Jason Elliott wrote, wrote them. And it's like, he's like, there, you know, it's a big race. He, was, he responded to him on this. Yeah. So wait, what's the original post? Who was, where did Jason Elliott write something that they responded to? He tags in Smuggler's Coffee. Are you an official sponsor? Because they're on here. Why would they tag in them specifically? Good question. No, we're going to be at GaryCon. Looking forward to seeing you at GaryCon. It's always a whoa, highlight whoa, whoa. of my year. So the guy who owned TSR and lost it because they didn't renew out, publicly mentions this out, you know, out yes. of nowhere, which how would they know? How, why would they Why would they bring gosh, that up? Gosh, I and didn't then, know. And then, yeah. oh, I'm glad because GaryCon's a highlight of my year. 
Well, one, I mean, I'm not familiar with the cons, but if that's the highlight of your year, I need you need to get out more. But two, um, this is really, that's really weird. Really I mean, I'm not saying he did it. No, I'm, just I'm saying, not saying he did it either. Um, it's you know, really interesting. He, that was really weird that 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 he asked that just right now when all this other stuff is going on. So. Look, this this is how this works. We we see we saw us in comics too, where what they do is if they can't shut you up, they try to shut off support system, shut off your advertisers, uh, shut off the shops that will carry your stuff. That's bullying. And if you were so sure that you were on the side of right and that you were better and you were doing good, you wouldn't need to lower yourself to quite frankly villainistic tactics to try to remove your you know competition. Well, I don't disagree with them. I would be mad too if if the con was moved to the same date as my con was. I don't think they're wrong to be upset about that. But you don't threaten people that had nothing no. to do with it. You no. don't. That's that's you've crossed a line. At that point, yeah, you, there's lines crossed here. Yeah, you, for sure. You absolutely are the villain at that point. And again, we um, don't know who did it or yeah, what. I, the FBI is looking into it. We're not saying anybody here is associated. We don't even know if Gary Con people were. We're no. just saying that because it's totally possible, 100 percent possible, that crazies you you know you know trying to help in quotes um, went and did this. They do it all the time. So what you know gets me about this? This whole thing is just so damn weird. They were waiting for this. Like, I think they knew, people knew back channel that this was going to happen, that they were going to well, try to get the band I was back so, together. I'm not trying to be like, but that Elliot guy, that Jason Elliot guy probably knew back channel that something was going down. Because why else would well, he yeah, bring he would, it up? Well, yeah, he would because somebody else snapped up the right. trademark. Yeah. Well, no, but no, 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 not just that, but about like the whole thing with their people, the sponsors being pulled. Because I'm not saying he had anything to do with the sponsors being pulled, but he hurried up and jumped on it. So he, you know, it was. It's really convenient. convenient. It's very convenient. Uh, I, I don't know. There, I don't think anything to do with it. I'm saying I, he, he's probably just trying to rub salt into the wound. I think this is going down like comics and the comics gate situation, where you've got a bunch of people who fancy themselves as gatekeepers. Oh, there, but that gatekeeping is bad oh, gatekeeping unless is bad. they do it. And they're getting together. So you probably got people who are associated with Gen Con. You probably got people associated with again speculation. Probably have people associated with Wizards of the Coast. Probably have other people that have an axe to grind with TSR or uh, Lanasa or whatever for whatever reason, and they're all getting together in, in some Slack channel or on a Facebook group or something. Which we know they do. Which we know for one hundred percent certainty they do. We've seen this happen in comics time and time and time again over the last four years. They're getting together and they're basically trying to kill this company before it even gets off the ground because mm -hmm. they have decided that they're, it's problematic. And I think I think it was already I think new. They didn't even decide it was problematic. They're just trying to they're just trying to keep, save their own neck by by giving into the Twitter mob and and playing along for the time being. What is the big threat? This is this is what blows my mind. Like I kept thinking like, well, okay, maybe it's people at Wizards of the Coast. Maybe they're freaked out because they're like, oh shit, if we get some of the old school D and D people together and they have a competing company. But Wizards of the Coast is in a completely other stratospheric. You know, well, for now, until Hasbro sells it. Well, until they get sold. But I'm like, yeah, they're, they're bankrolled by Hasbro. They're huge. Okay. TSR, at this point, one, they don't even have a product out at all. So what's the threat? Two, even when they put products out, it's going to be such a, a niche thing because they're not going to have the budget that Wizards of the Coast has. They're mm. not going to have the brand recognition of Dungeons and Dragons. They might have people that worked on Dungeons and Dragons putting out new product, but it's not going to be a D&D. &D. It's not going to be a household name. Right. So there is no real competition. But for whatever reason, there are people that want to destroy this company completely before it even gets off the ground. It's just fucking weird. I mean, it's really fucking weird. And, you know, and I think if you dug into the people that are the ones like, you know, look over there and, and throwing everybody that way, say, oh, they're, they're racist and, tra and tra anti-trans and stuff. I bet you money if you dig into a lot of their backgrounds, they worked for companies that, you know, said had people that said similar things or they themselves said similar things. But they're so afraid that they're going to lose their biscuit that they're just giving in to whatever, you know, demands Twitter has that day to look like they're playing along. Um, but, you know, if the money's not there, it's not going to stay. It's not going to, you know, keep going. Well, Streisand effect is a real thing. Because what happens is when these these activist types try to destroy people, a lot of times what they do is they draw attention to mm -hmm. them. Like, new, new TSR was really under the radar until people tried to destroy them because of Gary's interview. You know, uh, Ernie's interview. So... Oh, yeah, Ernie's interview. Yeah, the thing is, I don't... I saw that, and I didn't really see anything that was that. They, they were waiting. I'm telling you, like it wasn't. It wasn't on. No offense to the 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 YouTuber. Um, very nice guy. I actually went on his channel. Um, but who was gonna be? I mean, even if it was our channel, 
who's out there watching us? I mean, honestly, from down on, on high at, 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 you know, which is the coast that does have caught something we said. Yeah. You know, somebody's, it's really weird. Somebody's watching with malintent, bad intent. And that's that's what happened with um with the comics gate too. Like there are people that are literally watching every comics gate live stream. Like something off color might be said two and a half hours into a live stream and it gets flagged or it gets, you know, put all over Twitter. I'm like, cause there are psychopaths. They're sitting there watching these streams, waiting for somebody to trip up because their intention is to find something, well, anything. It gives them a sense of some kind of power. Like I'm mad because I don't have a platform and you do, but I can take your platform away by flagging you or something, something stupid and shitty like that. And look, at the end of the day, I don't think anything, if, if something is legitimately istophobic, that's shit and shouldn't be yeah, up there. Yeah, I agree. Um, I agree. But I also think that the behavior in this is so toxic and, um, it, 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 honestly, I used it before, but it's, it's like, it's like almost like um, terroristic in nature. I don't want all the word to describe it. It is it's terroristic like, in It's nature. like blackmail-y, terroristic -y kind of, you know. Blackmail-y black and terrorist sticky. That's right. Terrorist it's terrorist sticky. 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 Um, oh, God. That's you know, horrible. I'm going to call it from now on sticky. It's such sticky behavior that I'm, that's what I'm mad about. Like, I really honestly don't play tabletop games. I don't, like, unlike Neon, who does honestly have, like, an opinion on this stuff and, like, he has, you know, I, I'm just looking at this as someone just, like, outside looking in. And I'm like, I don't care. That's never okay. Like, this, no. this is never okay. Ever. And it does the opposite. If you legitimately wanted to help Gary Khan, this was not the way to do it. You probably just cost them a whole bunch of uh, of shit. And, it's, you know, you, you probably did. Because I'm sorry for all the threats and things that they're claiming that the other people did and why you shouldn't back them because they're bad people. This does not help your case. This makes you look infinitely worse. Yeah. I, I, I just, at this point, the tabletop scene is like... It's a, it's a freaking nightmare. I mean, it really is. I mean, I we saw how people were reacting to Critical Role being successful, and they court this audience, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is they that just, if they earned it. They earned it. But they turned on them. I they, know this audience. You're the, supposed to be, you're supposed to be you know like us and have no money. Yeah, these people, these socialist activist uh, weirdos, turned on Critical Role, and they'll turn on Wizards too. I mean, this well, is what any of you, if you do something they, they deem as something ridiculous that, that they think is something that that's you know, horrible and how dare you, even though it's something minor and something like, you know, oh, because their monitor had a different tone on it than yours did or something like that. Um, they will, they will do this. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you say you're on the same side as them. As soon as, what did you call Wizards of the Coast? Watsy. As soon as Watsy does something they don't like, they're going to turn on them too. Absolutely. And that's why I think they're so afraid. And that's why they're constantly like, oh, we got to make sure we we update our diversity and inclusion guidelines. We got to make sure we you, put nonviolent gaming out there. You, you and, cannot let these people dictate what yeah. you do because they, there's never an end to it. It's, 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 you never escape. No. It's basically a hostage situation. It is a hostage situation. And you know yes. what? You're not, you're never going to escape or win until you stand up and tell them, you know, knock it off. Yeah, and they might scream and, and cry and throw a temper tantrum, but you know if everybody ignores these people and just says, look, we've had enough of being freaking held at, at knife point by you assholes, then they go away. They give up. They go away. And the kicker is they get all, arrested. There's yeah. all kinds of, what gets me is there's all kinds of things out there that they're trying, you know, in the whole thing of the inclusion. There are all these new campaigns are coming out with, and I think they're a little bit lame to me. Like yeah. the moment you have basically a school with prom. Um, <laughs> You know, if that's what you want to play, then go play that. That's cool. But then if somebody else wants to play something different, they should be allowed to play it. It's cool. It's not hurting you in any way. Just like you playing your prom game isn't hurting them in any way. And I would stand up for your right to play it. I mean, I, I personally think it's dumb, but I also think that you have the right to like it if you like it. Because as I always say, if someone likes something and I don't, that's cool. They're allowed to like it. But I'm allowed to not like it. And, and, and you know, we can agree to disagree. That's but, not a problem. That's why I'm not seeing what the threat is. Because it's not. There is none. There's stuff for you. What difference what does it make? Because if you don't like new TSR and you don't agree with them and you don't like the kinds of games that they put out, whatever, just don't buy them. At this point, I, it sounds like a very personal attack. Yeah, they're not. I don't see new TSR. Now, you can argue as to whether or not they, you know, were on the up and up about other stuff or whatever. I don't know enough about it to that's, make an argument. That's your opinion. But. I have not seen anybody from New TSR go on the offensive. There, there were some tweets uh, in defense of uh, Ernie when things broke loose, but then it turned out that I think they were associated with the Wonderfield people or whatever, um, and they were responding to people attacking them. 
Uh, so far, it's been the entire tabletop scene dogpiling TSR just for a, existing. A company that just has a name only right now. And a they don't even have products. Like, what the frick? Don't go to the convention, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, yeah, what the hell? But this is not okay. No. Threats are never okay. I mean, even people we don't agree with, I would never well, I condone any I guess if you threats. see this... I mean, if Gary Khan doesn't speak out against it, I guess if you if someone sees this, they could technically argue, well, I'm not going to Gary Khan because this is what they stand for. Yeah. And, I, you know, I'm, not and Gary Khan there. I'm just like, you know, potato, potato. Yeah. Pot or kettle. God, ridiculous. This is just. I, I, what I'm mad about is this kind of behavior. I yeah. really, this is what I'm mad about. Because we see this all the time with animation, yep. with voice actors. Um, with, this needs to stop. Yeah, it's like you're actually going to damage your case. I mean, this is the same with the people making threats, you know, and with the voice actors with Vic Mignogna situation mm -hmm. and all that shit, too. You're at whatever, whatever moral high ground you think you have, when you resort to threats like this and you potentially... It's underhanded blood, behavior. And you try to tank people's business relationships and all this other shit, you are the villain. Yes, you Absolutely, are. 100%. I'm going to side with, even if I don't 100% agree with somebody, if I see them being dogpiled for no good reason and you're trying to destroy their business just because it's Tuesday and you're bored and you've been out of work for a year. Your and, mom's got the grocery store right now. You know, I'm going to probably side with them and be like, you know what? I don't care. I don't like their stuff or whatever, but you don't have a right to go in there and try to destroy Hopefully their, their mom brought them a Snickers, because they're sure an asshole Snickers. without one. We got a big one in the studio. Here. Oh, we do. Be happy that's, to that's shove to it down happy. your throat. So anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure we'll probably have more videos, because this is This is this kind of behavior nuts. is just not OK. This is nuts. All right. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.